we are identifying the church to the owner of the church. Let's go to Acts chapter 2, verse 47 to understand why we are part of the church of Christ. And it's not a name. It's an identifier, if I can put it that way. And so, firstly, Acts chapter 2, 41, but Peter was preaching. And those who gladly received his word were baptized. And that day, about 3,000 souls were added to them. Okay, so what were they a part of? Verse 47, praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. I'm reading from the New King James. Oh, so when they were part of the church, what do you understand from that passage? Somebody might say, well, God added to the church those who were being saved. That passage doesn't say God. Whenever the New Testament is talking about the title Lord, it's usually a reference to Jesus specifically. It's not to God the Father. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that's who God is as far as the roles of the Godhead is concerned for our salvation. So God the Father is the one who decides what must happen. And the Son is the one who accomplishes this purpose. And the Holy Spirit is the one that makes it known to mankind what was accomplished. That's how God works. In this passage, the Bible says, praising God, it's talking about the Father, not Jesus. It goes on and says, having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church. Now it's talking about the Son and it's not talking about the Holy Spirit. It's not even talking about the Father. That's why we read in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord. You are recognizing His authority, meaning Jesus added to the church daily those who were being saved, not God the Father. God the Father has no business with the church at this point. He has left that business to His Son. 